that uh, this uh, and Riley changed you and how? Were you different from when you went, come in uh, during the start of and Riley and then after the end of and Riley, did you think that you, uh, had it and Riley impacted you in, in a positive way after that, after going and uh, attending the and Riley? Yes, sir. It has emerged me to different kind of le level of leadership. Since I was really quiet and I am really I am really shy to people. I am not really into socialization. But then when I was exposed to National Result Youth Leadership Institute, it was really a great privilege and an opportunity for me to to have impacted some lives also, some youth leaders in our municipality. I was, in, in fact, I was invited also as a, as a youth speaker in our municipality. And um, we were tasked also to, to really strengthen the core values of being a Caparis and also to resonate light just to make a difference to the children. I am doing an outreach community program right now. And I am, I am really longing into um, motivating and inspiring the youth leaders out there to become the best leader that they can be, to stay humble, to stay humble but proud, and also to be responsible in all the making. So I am lo looking forward always since I was also... Um, the advisor of the student leaders in our school. So I it was really a great opportunity and I was very thankful to N. Riley for exposing me to since we were always the one who are making the organization or making seminars to the higher office. So we were exposed into that work and now it took me to find out it is easier for me to to do the same as what I have, as what we have done when I was, or when we were in college. Very nice. Now, um, again, thank you, uh, Tila, for uh, accepting this invitation and giving us uh, some points uh, about your personal experience with N. Riley. Now, as you impart on your adult life, I guess, uh, and now you turn the table, now you're the one... Uh, teaching, you're the one who has all this knowledge. Uh, is there any, if you could choose only one of Brizal's traits to the kid, what would it be? Um, for me, it was the bravery of the soul of Dr. Jose Rizal. So, um, it was really an ideal for me because um, as what we have known in the history of Dr. Jose Rizal, he fighted for our freedom using his pens. He fighted for for the Filipino democracy. He fighted for for everything just to give us independence. So um, I think that was one of the character of Dr. Jose Rizal that is that we need to impart to the children because now the children as what i have seen in our especially in our municipality the youth the children they are now engaged in different different activities like like having an early marriage um they're out of school they are not they're not doing what is Task them to do so. They are involved in illegal activities. So it was really heartbreaking, especially in the part of me, because I was once there in their shoes. I was once there experiencing the difficulties of living. I was once there hoping and longing for something that 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 life may change at someday. So um I, I was really, um, I was really moved and touched after seeing a lot of youth redirecting their life in another path that is not intended for them. So, um, I have seen this as a potential 
being a teacher for them to to give them what is due for them to motivate and uplift them to motivate their spirit and also to teach them with a the heart always and always to make Rizal as the as the as your role models because Rizal has done really what is really intended and what what is really right so um they I, I am really asking for them to be just like Rizal, even if it's not in the in hundred percent. But then even one character of Rizal that can move them and that can motivate them to always do better and to always to always see to it that that they they can be a productive citizen in this country. That they can they can be somebody who can make a difference, who can touch lives, who can. Um, also, um, motivate other children just like them. Wow. It seems like, uh, I know you said that uh, the government paid for your education. I, don't, I think uh, with how you turned out, it was a worthy uh, investment on the part of the government. Uh, now, let me ask you one last thing before we go. Uh, do you have any funny experience during the Riley that you'd like to share with us? Okay, so um, the funny experience that we had during and Riley is that we were really tasked and uh, we are really eager to 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 lead one of the unity dance or unity song since we were SKSU once and we are highlighted in the event. So um, we were very excited to lead the unity song. So our president have already um, informed us that we will go to the session hall early since it was in the end part of the event. So um, we were very busy in our, in our, you know, in our rooms. We were very bu busy fixing ourselves and then not knowing that the time was running. And then when we were in the down part of the teachers come so we're going to walk for a lot of minutes just to go to the session hall so we were running and then after that when we when we got to the session hall everyone is dancing already so we were very shocked so we think that somebody led the unity dance and the unity song and we were not part of it anymore so we were we were we went into the hall and then we go with the flow we dance with the yeah. audience with the participants and we were not the one who are leading now but then um it was also from our um school it was from the main campus so we were just very glad that um still we were part of the That's event nice. now you're you're busy making yourself look good <laughs> and yes, then you sir. became late <laughs> That's fine. yes uh but at least you know in here in the states we want we have what we say we got your back so you were late but still your school schoolmates got your back yes. and uh, covered for you that was really nice so again thank you again uh, and um, do you have any last words before we go so to the youth nowadays um, please just make the best make chase your dreams improve yourselves always do what is good and always put a heart into in every action that you have um, consider also um, leadership as a great opportunity for you to flourish and for you to be bring into another level of experience because being a leader is not easy it is a great it is really a great responsibility and you have to sacrifice your own self, even your sleeves and everything that you have, you, you, you will undergo with that. But then after that, everything is worth it. Everything is worth the effort. As you can see that there was, there is a progress to somebody that you have touched or you have helped. And also there is always a progress to yourself for your growth your your inspiration your motivations in life will be changed your perceptions and everything so just 
make the best out of it and also um always consider that you are the hope of this nation and you will always be the hope even if you will deny that you will always be the hope since we are the youth and we can we are very active and we are very creative in that thing we can always do and resonate life if you will just believe in yourself also believe in yourself believe in your capabilities and also surround yourself with with the people that uplifts your spirit and motivates you to do what is right that is a very uh that brings a great impact in your life if you are being surrounded with great people who has a good vision and who are um, motivated. And also, um, always in, in your dreams, always um, consider what is in your heart. Always, and also um, a very important thing is that you have always to pray to our almighty being for you to be guided in everything you do. And we are in the stages, even if we are in the stages of complexities, now that in our stage of youth, we are all, we are having different kind of choices that sometimes it will hinder us to prosper, that sometimes it may, it may take us to uh, the danger zone, but then always put on hold to our almighty being because he will be the one who will guide us and he will be the one who will will turn us into the right path and always be the one who will put great put a great purpose in your life that you are somebody who can be something that's it was her uh, well thank you again uh she 